Station 12. Jesus died upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now the, about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour, for the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. And Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. The centurion, seeing what had happened, praised God and said, Surely this was a righteous man. Now for a meditation. A few hours more, a few minutes more, a few instants more. For 33 years it has been going on. For 33 years you have lived fully minute after minute. You can no longer escape now. You are there at the end of your life, at the end of your road. You are the last extremity. You must take the last step. The last step of love, the last step of life that ends in death. You hesitate. Three hours are long, three hours of agony. Longer than three years of life, longer than 30 years of life. You must decide, Lord. All is ready around you. You are there motionless on your cross. You've renounced all activity other than embracing these crossed planks for which you were made. And yet, there is still life in your nailed body. Let mortal flesh die now and make way for eternity. Now life slips from each limb one by one, finding refuge in your still beating heart, immeasurable heart, broken heart, overflowing heart, heavy heart as the world, the world of sins and miseries that it bears. Lord, one more effort. Mankind is there waiting unknowingly for the cry of its Savior. Your brothers are there. They need you. Your Father bends over you, already holding out his arms. Lord, save us. Save us. See, he has taken his heavy heart and slowly, laboriously, alone between heaven and earth, in the awesome darkness of that awful, awful day, with passionate love, he has gathered his life. He has gathered the sin of the world, and in a cry he has given all. It is finished. It is perfectly accomplished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Christ has just died for us. Lord, help me die to die for you. Help me to die for them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we pray that you you to set your passion, cross, and death between your judgment and our souls, now and in the hour of our death. Give mercy and grace to the living, pardon and rest to the dead, to your holy church peace and concord, and to us sinners everlasting life and glory. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen.